Damn it, I will forget to hit that button nine times out of ten. I don't want to use the whole piece, so I'm going to leave it here. I heard a whooshing behind me, and that's the new vape oil we're going to be selling here. Had it for quite a while. We're just getting it going. But we're going to sand this mirror down. I think it's outside. It sounded like a whirlwind behind me. I thought there was a leak in the wall and the air was coming in. This is it, Angela. Yeah, I think we probably already sanded it down. So I'm going to get some water going here and we'll do this to this. So you got your sandpaper, you got your bucket of water that we've got a little good amount of soap in. Get it kind of soapy. Get your wet dry sandpaper in here. I'm going to sit there for two, three minutes, five minutes, whatever. And we'll do some sanding in a minute. All right, got the mirror out here and got it all shined up. We're actually working on a 600 and a fuel leak. But the mirror is all, look at this thing. This is like factory. I should have showed primer in it, I'm sorry. But it really, really turned out nice. Man, I'm not taking this sucker out. You know, I know I'm gonna get comments and stuff probably about how easy these mirrors are to take out. Maybe I'll take the time to look on YouTube inside. And that's where I need to have somebody doing something like that a little bit more. But I'm just gonna actually rough this up lightly. The edges will always get a little bit more primer taken off and such in this process. I get questions sometimes. How do you detail or buff with that ring on? Very well, actually. <laughs> if you can guess who that saying comes from that made that famous, I'll give you a prize. Nice one, cigar. Some live wire, some marshmallows. Just throw it in the comments. So this is basically where I want it. I think I've got it very well. Sand it out. And that's it. You can see all the primer coming off, but I might actually run this around the front lip even though I know most of it's going to come off and that's just the way it goes that's the way it goes sometimes okay now I am not gonna even though my hands are very clean this time I've cleaned them cleaned them cleaned them I'm not gonna touch that anymore I'm gonna call it good and let this sucker dry out again you're going to the farm to dry out. Okay, so this is just going to be very nice for a, a, a backyard jobber type thing. I'm going to leave it out here to dry and I'll clip more in, in a little while. Look at that, it's very, very nice. Look at that sunshine. Yeah. So looking good. We'll let this bab. I don't like letting it dry on that. It's a little, little sandy or rusty, rusty. So we'll let it dry right here. Talk to you in a minute. One on a car guy. One on a car guy.com got the GTA over here sunny day too and we're working on the disaster relief van I want to say EMT American Red Cross gonna do some painting 
I've had this mirror sitting around for too long. Um, I'll wash it up, get it ready, and then it'll set around and not get painted. Well, I've got my paint. It's slightly warmed up. It's a Supermax Krylon. It's a very good paint. You can buy this paint at Walmart. I think they've got the price up to about four bucks a can now or so, 440. Um, I like to hang stuff on a string to where it's away from everything. Um, I do like to actually get a little bit, hang on, I'm gonna do this. Let's see how we can work this out. Hang on one sec, I'll be right back with you. It's hard to hook it on to stuff after you're painting. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually paint very much like this. But it's been sitting out too long, so it might have dust on it, and I don't really know what I'm gonna get. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna stick this over here, <clears throat> and I'm gonna paint this sucker. Just like that. Just like that. I guess we'll see what we get in a minute. Now really and truly, the mirrors should be taken out of these. It'll make for a better final job, for sure. We are not taking the mirror out. I like to spread a light coat on everything. And I like to get edges first, where your edges are the darkest. Like right now, around my hand is the hardest place for me to get. And I hope I'm filming this correctly. Okay, glass. Record a video. I'm gonna get my Google Glass going too, just in case. Just get a nice light coat on everything. And you want it to tack up a little bit, but you want it to be kind of even. I've got a nice partial coat on everything and now I'm gonna lay into it a bit and actually put some paint on it. Now I can see dust on this. I'm not happy about how long it's set around but it seems like every time I set this around and leave it, it don't get done. And it's killing me. I just can't get this job done and I need to be done with it. And I'm trying to make sure nothing blows on my other cars at this present moment. Now it's going to take me a second or two. That side there is the worst. I'll show you up close. Okay, now from that point, you should let it tack up, I feel. Let me... It's looking really nice. 
and I don't want to touch it down. So what I'm going to do is leave this here and go hang it up. I'll be right back. Once you got it hung up, you're going to be able to see any final touch-ups you need. And it looks pretty good hanging there. I can see exactly where the dust that I don't like is. And it's on the underneath part there, you can see little specks maybe. This side actually, the best side, is right there. And it has tacked up just enough. I can tell by when I start spraying it on there. That is perfect time. Just come over that bad boy with another coat. And it's gonna lay right on there beautifully. Okay, well that's that. I might lay another coat on in a couple minutes, like two minutes. If I do, you'll be the first to know. Let's put it that way. Honestly, I got some paint on it. We'll see. That's the mirror. Let's show you the car. Do a walk around of this. I can't show you the best side, but you can see a little bit of the shine there. It's swinging in the wind. I forgot I still had Google Glass on, so I don't know what that was focused at. This is the uh, Red Cross van. Sweet. All the mats for it. Here's the GTA. Quick job, easy job. Just take the stuff off and do it to it. I got a little bit of a a bend I'm going to take out of this before I put that mirror back on there. But this GTA will be coming up very soon. And that's about all I know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Okay, it has been about three minutes. I actually put the paint up. And then I decided that I'm going to put a little bit more. When it's hanging like this, I like to start on the top surface and paint my way down, if that makes any sense. And around the edges and stuff first, before you start getting on the other side, so we're all, you're all edged out. Now this was my worst side, besides that top side. So it should fill around that dust just a little more. There's a happy medium, if you get too much, you're gonna start getting orange peel and stuff, which you definitely don't want. And if you get too much at one time, it's gonna start running on you, which of course, you definitely don't want. So, I believe that's all you're gonna see on this. Oh, damn fly flew in it. something the fucking mosquito bug flew in my little thing and ruined my high quality outdoor rattle can job damn it he's right there you will be there forever fly that's all there is to say about it thanks for watching i'm done i'll show some of this when i've got it done and off the hanger it's all done and dried so i was just going to show you from some different angles here we got a really good finish especially on the part that mattered there give you some up close it's just this was the worst side and I'll tell you hang on this here has some dust on it from just hanging out so it's hard to see you can see the swirl marks there it's actually very good and ready to go well that's the whole video thanks for watching oneownercarguide.com I'll throw something on it when it's on the car too